Hello everybody. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Is this gonna set up here? A little wonky, I must say. How are you guys doing? I know this is an extremely difficult time. Um, everything with the COVID-19, aka coronavirus, has kept everybody very worried and a lot of people very, very sick. And it's terrifying. Um, I have been currently social distancing myself, keeping my, um, Basically, I have only been going from my house to my office in which my sister and I are the only ones at the office. So it's very safe and very um, clean, let's put it, because my sister is staying at my house with me anyway. So we go and we work at the office, which has been great because we've been able to get out of the house and at least do something. Anyways, I feel like everybody could use some distraction. <laughs> from what's going on and I was just gonna share with you guys a <laughs> corona social distancing evening routine in my everyday routine which which is turned into my everyday routine at least right now. And yeah, so I just got back from the office. Um, I haven't worked out today. So I was gonna just do a workout inspired following actually one of my favorite trainers, Megan Roop. Um, she launched a new app called Sculpt Society that I am trying out today and I'll show you guys some of the moves that we do. And I think I'm gonna make it a fast workout because I'm just not feeling very inspired to say the least to do really anything at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna put some socks on, do a little workout with you guys, and then shower, get in some comfy sweats, and cook some dinner. I'm trying to cook healthy, but I also have stocked up on a lot of pasta and rice and foods that will last a long time. So TBD on that because we'll see how long the amount of food I bought lost me or lasts me. Um, yeah, so let's do it.
Well, that was really hard and a perfect quick little 15 minute booty, 10 minute ab workout. Sorry about my distracting puppy here. Um, but he's a great workout, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna head upstairs and I'm gonna do a little nightly routine. Let's go. Welcome to my shower. Sorry, it's gonna be a little loud and a little echoey, but I wanted to show you my shower routine. Not washing my hair today because I just washed it this morning. Um, and as you guys know, I don't like to wash my hair um, too much because it dries it out. So lately I'm very into exfoliation and I'm using this exfoliant, I'll show you it. It is by Dr. Barbara Serm, it's an enzyme cleanser. I'm recently very into enzyme cleansers over manual exfoliants because it's not, it's not so hard on your skin and um, it's a chemical, it's almost like a chemical peel. So I put a little bit of powder on my hand, a tiny bit of water and I mix it up like so. I put this on my skin and basically just let it sit there for at least a minute while I let it soak in, I cleanse my body. Everybody knows I love a good spa, so I'm using this fresh bath and shower gel, grapefruit, and it smells amazing, and I feel like it doesn't dry me out. And it really just stays, the smell stays on your skin, and it smells so good. So, being that I'm really sick, give myself a good scrub all over. Okay. Fully. Fully scrub my body. Now I can rinse off my exfoliant with the red. Now obviously I exfoliate my face, but I'm also about exfoliating my body. I have two favorites right now. This one by a company called Anente, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly, is just for your butt. It's good for like hand tightening, strap marks, lifting, for all over exfoliation. I'm using this one, Baja Zen Coco, and it literally feels like, well, I'm almost out. <laughs> it feels like I'm at the beach. And if I'm not gonna do my whole body, I like to just do my butt, thighs, legs, well, I like to do my whole body, basically, what I'm saying, so. Chest, arms, that brand that I just said, the, the booty scrub also makes like a booty scrub. It's gentle though, it's not like harsh. Um, it's good for skin tightening, exfoliating, all that dead skin on your body that's sitting there. You don't want to do this more than like once a week to your body or your face, once or twice. It's just not necessary because you don't, your skin doesn't get that dead that quickly. So, I started putting this thing in my shower and I posted this before on my healthy morning routine video, how to fight cellulite. Um, I'm set, obviously. Basically what you do, um, I put it in my shower because I find it easier to use, but I'm going to do this straight over on since you can't see my leg. So like this, it's a circular motion. Um, I do it to my butt, the top of my thighs, the front of my thighs, inner thighs, even my stomach. So I just do it for like a couple minutes while I'm in the shower. And it's great for getting the blood stimulation um, going in those areas, which helps by cellulite, just helps to break down cellulite. These things in the rubbing kind of breaks them down, um, lets your body absorb them, absorb it, and yes. Yeah. I think it's really good. I've been using it for a couple of years now, actually. I'm kind of obsessed, so. Last step, all about female hygiene. This is Simply by Summer Bees. Not much more to say there. <laughs> oh, that's better, less noisy. So on days that I'm not exploiting my face, everybody knows I've been standing by this product forever. It's by Shiseido White Lucent Face Wash. They also have an exfoliated one. It's super great. 
it doesn't dry out your skin. Um, and for shampoo and conditioner, I have a lot, but some of my favorites right now is by Honest Beauty. As you can see, I've used this a lot. Um, shampoo and conditioner, I am all for face mask, or face mask, yes, but a hair mask. I actually um, use the conditioner on the top half of my hair, not the, not the roots, but the top half, and a mask on the ends, the very ends of my hair that are the driest, um, which really, really helps with the texture and quality of my hair. Okay, I'm back out, it's quiet. All right, so first thing I do when I get in the shower is use my salt rock deodorant, which, well this is a crystal mineral deodorant stick. I've been using this for years. Um, there's a lot of different brands instead of deodorant because it can be very harmful. Um, the lymph nodes are right there. All those chemicals can go straight in to your blood system. And if you don't use this, never use deodorant right after you shave because everything's all open and can go in. Um, I'm gonna do a face spray toner. I love Caudalie's. Um, they're great. After that, I'm gonna do a mask since I have nothing but time. Self-love and the self-warranting, guys. There's no reason to not enjoy yourself just a little bit. I mean, if you're sick, obviously, um, that's a different story. But if not, and you're just self-quarantined at home, um, take care of your, your body, mind, soul. I've always wanted to try this dry sheet mask by Charlotte Tilbury. It's dry. Hence the name. And it's not ooey and gooey, and you can use it multiple times. So you massage it on top to activate your dry face mask and leave on for 15 minutes. Mask can be used up to three times. How cool is that? So here it is. This is what it looks like. You basically, wait, let me make sure I'm doing it right. Pink side onto cleansed skin, so that's this side. And here we go. Around my ears. I have such a little forehead. And where do these go? Do these go around my ears? Oh yeah, I look like a serial killer. <laughs> oh my God. But it's actually very comfortable because I feel like sometimes it's like wet masks, you can't really do anything or move for that matter. This, you could just do whatever you want. So I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Scary as ever. I let that sit in, did a couple things. Got it a little organized and oh my gosh. Do you see that shine on my skin? I actually, I mean, I actually feel, I, I kind of felt like it wasn't gonna do anything because it's dry, but I actually feel very dewy and glowy. So I'm actually gonna just pop this, this is a resealable bag, so I'm gonna just pop it back in the bag and save it for maybe later this week. Okay, so for my body, I've been using this Caudalie Vino Sculpt um, on my butt. Any area that you'd like to sculpt and be less, yeah, well, yeah, less cellulite-y. You want to tighten the skin a little bit. So putting that on my butt, upper thighs, and sometimes stomach. I'm gonna skip it today. For my all-over moisturizer, um, before bed, I actually like to use a dry body body oil. This is Moroccan oil, but there's so many different brands. You can basically use whatever you want. So anyways, there's so many different brands that do body oils. And um, I like a dry one because I don't like to get into bed feeling too oily, if that makes sense. Seems weird as I've chosen a body oil, but the dry ones do really make a difference. Just get everything. It's obviously easier if you're not filming and you don't need to wear a robe. But yeah, so legs, everywhere that needs to be moisturized. Also, obviously we've all been washing our hands a lot, um, which means, and showering hopefully a lot, which means that I personally am super, super dry. 
So that's why I'm opting for this body oil instead. Um, and then for my face as well, I actually like to do an oil um, overnight rather than a moisturizer because I just feel like it's more reparative. Um, so I'm gonna do a really thick, creamy lip balm. I'll post some links below of my favorites. All my favorite products are the products I'm using in this video. Super thick, super reparative. And then I'm gonna do an eye serum. Love Drunk Elephant, super natural ingredients. I love a vitamin C serum. This Drunk Elephant makes an amazing one. I happen to be using this Skin Design, whoops. Can you see? Skin Design London Antioxidant Vitamin C Serum. Those are really, really good for you and for your skin. I just got a new one. So there's so many vitamin C serums out there. You actually really do want to invest in a good one. I heard from this dermatologist that told me otherwise something about the ingredients just won't really do anything if it's not actually a good serum. So I'll link some of my faves below. And then this is another drunk outfit pro uh, product. This is not sponsored actually, I just love their products. I am literally, that's it. That's the last bit of that, out of that. I use this every single night. And I just put it all over my skin. And it basically, I may look a little oily um, right now, especially after that sheet mask. But by the time I wake up in the morning, I promise you, your face, it really absorbs it. And if you have any extra products, just rub it on your hands. And now my hands will be moisturized. Alrighty, now I'm gonna get into some comfy sweats and see what we can do for dinner. Welcome on to our vlog! I know we already started this vlog, but I, since then, bye! Um, Johnny is thriving in a foreign nation. Um, anyways, so basically, obviously food is very limited at the moment. So I wanted to make a recipe that was simple, also nutritious. Um, so for dinner, I am making a chicken stir fry. So the only chicken I could get my hands on for today was chicken thighs, which I have shred it up into little pieces and um, cut off all the, try to cut off all the fat and anything that looked weird. Cause I'm usually, honestly, I'm super used to cooking with um, chicken breast. So chicken thighs are new to me. That's what we're going with. I have this marinating in a little sauce that I whipped up. It's basically the same sauce that I'm gonna make as the stir fry sauce. Just marinated the chicken. Um, for like at least 30 minutes. Um, if you hear something, my sister is over there cutting cheese. <laughs> but literally, she's actually, she's, she's, literally, she's cutting cheese up. Um, yeah, so anyways. Um, I'm drinking some hot water with lemon and honey. And I'm also drinking some wine, per usual. My family doesn't understand that you need to be quiet during vlogs, so you might hear some overall distractions. That's okay. This is just a casual quarantine vlog. Quarantine vlog. The real life of the barbers. <laughs> Quarantination. Anyways, okay. So I'm eating this chicken stir fry, the veggies that I just have to have in my That's fridge. That's not a word, by the way. Quarantination? I know, I'm making it up. I'm, it's a Devon word. It's a Devon word. Or, welcome to our quarantination. Yeah, anyways. Quarantination zone. Hater! Anyways, so the veggies that I've chosen to uh, cook tonight are broccoli, mushrooms, onions, yellow and green bell peppers, and carrots. And then on the side, I'm making this ripe rice. Obviously, most of you know, rice was one of the first things to go in supermarkets because it lasts a long time, fills you up. Anyways, this is actually ripe rice. It's made from vegetables, not an ad. They actually sent me this for to try and I loved it. It's made with lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea fiber, rice flour, sunflower oil, and salt. 
And so we're gonna pair that with our stir fry because it's healthy rice. And we're trying not to gain 5,000 pounds during this quarantine. So this is the original flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors. This is just original. So first things first, I've heated up some avocado oil in my wok. And I'm going to saute the chicken first in my wok. And then after that, I'll take it out and then cook all my veggies. Okay, so I have my chicken here. My water is boiling. I'm actually gonna do that first. So you basically, for this right rice, you add this in to a cup and a, and a third of water, exactly. And you give it a little stir. Cover it and you cook it for 10 minutes. So now that's chilling there, and I'm gonna add my. It should be warm now. Add my chicken that's been marinating, marinated all into my woke. Oh, I guess it wasn't hot enough. That's okay. I'll show you what's in the marinade slash sauce while this is cooking. Just get a little bowl for the side for when this is done. That you can put the chicken into. Because you're gonna use this wok to cook the veggies in after. Gonna cook it. I'm gonna see you in a little. Now I'm back over here. My chicken is cooking and I'll just occasionally pop back there to stir it. And I'm gonna show you how I make my sauce. So I'm eyeballing this because why not? So I'm gonna start with a little bit of rice vinegar. Actually, I'm gonna use a little rest of the bottle because I have nothing left. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little bit of sesame oil. A little goes a long way with sesame oil so you don't wanna do too much. On the, or this is soy sauce with less sodium. The main base of this is going to be soy sauce, obviously it's a stir fry. If you want to thicken up your sauce, you can always add cornstarch, but I'm fine with it not. This is teriyaki. So I'd say soy and teriyaki are the base of this sauce. Ponzu, which is my favorite. You can put lo mein noodles, regular noodles, regular rice, shrimp, veggies, all veggies, whatever you want, up to you. The world is your oyster. Oyster sauce, kind of a random thing that most people don't really think about buying. I always have some in my fridge, it keeps a long time. I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes just to add a little spice. You could do, oh, that was a lot. You could do sriracha, freshly grated ginger, and garlic. I'm trying to stay healthy here. And that's it. You do a little whisk. Now, that's gonna be the base of my sauce. I'm gonna cook my veggies in um, avocado or olive oil. And then when they're like half cooked, I'll add in the sauce and I'll let it kind of thicken and glaze all of that. Um, I'm gonna cook the veggies in the order that takes the longest to cook. So, broccoli's gonna probably take the longest. Then you add in the carrots, bell peppers, Onions and mushrooms are the fastest. You don't want to put the mushrooms in when you put the broccoli in because by the time the broccoli co is cooked, the mushrooms will be like mush. So, very important. One more thing I actually am going to add is a little bit of honey. Since I kind of did a lot of, um, I'm just going to do a lot of red pepper flakes. So, this will kind of balance it out. We want to like almost undercook the chicken just a tad because um, you're going to re put it in with the veggies and you don't want it to get super, super dry. So I'm just adding a little bit more of everything. If I don't like the flavor, I usually just do more soy, ponzu, and teriyaki, which kind of just are basics. Much better. Okay. So, I'm gonna take off the chicken. Okay. So my chicken's out. Actually, don't even really need to add any more avocado oil because there's a lot of liquid in there. I'm gonna just add my veggies in. 
one by one and cook them until they're done. So my rice just started beeping. Let me check it out. Oh, it looks great. Let me turn down the heat. And you just fluff it up with a fork. It's like the easiest right rice ever, no? Amazing. All right, so I've got my broccoli, carrots, and onions going in my wok. I'm gonna let those basically almost cook completely through, and then I'm gonna add those mushrooms in. Okay, so I've got all my veggies except for my shrooms. I'm gonna add those in there. Give it a stir. My husband's vacuum sealing something. Oops, okay. COVID-19 preparedness. Vacuum sealing over there. Um, and I'm gonna stir this, and then we're gonna add in our sauce. Sauce. I'm gonna probably whip up a little bit more. So I'm a saucy gal. But at least this can marinate in the sauce for a little bit. Okay, so I'm now basically cooked all the veggies. I'm gonna add the chicken back in to the stir fry. And look at that. That looks so good. I'm gonna just let that sauce kind of simmer down and thicken. And then basically you're just ready to serve it up. You can serve it with some soy sauce on the side or ponzu or sriracha, depending on what people like. Et voila. Okay, final product. Look at that steam. It's just fogging up my camera. <gasps> wow. Oh, I am stuffed. That was delicious. We actually, um, so fun, oh, funny because tonight we watched Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter, which my husband has not seen that one Harry Potter. Can you believe that? And I never could get him to watch it because he always thought it was like boring or lame or weird or like bad quality, I don't know. But the one of the older Harry Potters was on TV the other night and he was like kind of watching it. I was like, wait, if you like this, we should watch from the beginning. So being that we're in social distancing right now, I convinced him to start it. So from now on, every night, we're gonna watch a new Harry Potter and he loved it. So anyways, I'm gonna brush my teeth and pop into bed because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe this video let me know how you guys are all doing in your com comments and please stay safe and healthy and distance yourself, not emotionally, but physically from the rest of the world for a little while so we can try to all move past this really difficult time. All right, good night guys.